Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Did you see that? Oh, there's one. There he is. We got him. Come up here, buddy. be doing some fly fishing today guys I am not very familiar with fly fishing at all but I thought it'd be fun to come out to this little creek right in the middle of the park doing some urban fishing trying to catch whatever lies in this creek now the one concern I have is it just rained a bunch today so it's kind of flooded I don't know how active these fish are gonna be but we're gonna give it a try oh oh something just came up at it let's try this again come on buddy oh oh yep there's my skills coming just hooked a tree and got tangled now I hook the grass. Dude, we're going great so far. We're going great. Just using a little dry fly, just sitting on the top of the water, letting it drift through the creek. We're gonna see if that gets the job done. Oh, oh, I just had a bite down there. I just saw something drag my line. I had a few bites right in this still pocket right here, which is, makes sense because the rest of it's extremely rapid. So they're gonna pool up in that spot that's a little more relaxing for them. Something's got it, something's got it. We got a fish, what is it? First fish of the day. <laughs> no, he came off. Dude, that was a little creek chub. Gosh dang it, and now I hooked the tree, beautiful. Came to the second spot right here. I know we're gonna catch a fish here, and if we don't, then something's really, really like messed up. Oh, literally instantly got hit. Put it right back in here. We don't have to cast very far. All these fish are just bound, all these fish are right by these rocks up in here. Oh, dude. These are all tiny ones. Dude came and crushed it, oh my gosh. They're too small, I see them come up. They're all like literally minnows. If they're too small to catch on a fly, I think we got a problem. Oh, they're fighting for it. Oh my gosh, he dropped it. Oh, there's a fish, we got him. Oh yes, this is little sunfish species. That is so sweet. Fish number one on the fly right there, a little green sunfish I'm pretty sure. This dude is super, super beautiful. Love a little good micro fishing send. Beautiful first catch of the day. And we're gonna send them back down there. See you later, buddy. We don't have to cast very far for these guys. They're literally right in front of me. Just gotta send it down there. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, did you see that? That was so sick. There's like some top water eat right there. Oh, there's fish down there. They're waking on it. Oh, one got it, one's, oh no, I lost them. Gosh dang it. Dude, I'm choking like every fish today. That was another green sunfish, I'm pretty sure. They're all hiding under these rocks right in front of me. So I'm just kind of trying to drop it right in their pockets and they get pissed off and come snatch this thing. There he is. Oh my gosh, I lost him again, dude. Let's drop it right in the same pocket, dude. It's loaded with a bunch of fish. But I just can't seem to hook them. We're gonna keep moving down this creek and try to find a more open area so I can actually make a cast. But this spot was loaded with them right by those rocks, but I just suck and missed every single fish that bit it besides that one. All right, here we go. The water is a lot more slower moving at this part of the creek, so hopefully that means more fish. There's a fish, oh my gosh, he came off, of course. Dude, I keep losing all these fish, what's the deal? Are they too small to even bite my fly? That's kind of embarrassing. I'm getting a little frustrated now, guys. I can't even seem to hook any of these fish. I mean, I know we're micro fishing, so it's a little bit more difficult sometimes, but dang, dude, I'm like one for 15. At the second creek here, this one's a lot more backwoods and remote. I have to walk a lot further through the woods to get to this spot as opposed to the other one that's right next to the park. I walk probably like a half mile to a mile through these woods to get to this spot, but it's totally worth it. Oh my gosh, I got a fish. I didn't even, I didn't even know I was, English is so hard for me. <laughs> I was trying to untangle my rod tip and this guy came up and crushed it while I was just sitting there. Look at that tiny little creek chub. Definitely the smallest creek chub I have ever caught on a rod and reel. <laughs> that's insane. If this ain't micro fishing, then I don't know what is. See you later, buddy. Honestly, we're just gonna drop it right in front of us. There's a little tiny pool right here. 
that is a lot more stagnant than out there. So I'm thinking these fish might be just piled up right in here. It's just so relaxing coming out to these more remote spots that literally it's just pure silence, nothing but the sounds of birds chirping, crickets cricking, and mosquitoes biting your legs off, but it's completely fine. It's just such a beautiful place to fish. Even if you're catching tiny little fish like this, it just makes it so worth it. Just coming out here and experiencing all of God's beautiful creation. Oh my gosh, it's getting so muddy back here. I'm about to slip. I'm going to fall. This is why you don't come back here after rain. This creek is just insanely flooded. It's so hard to fish. Yep, there's one, he crushed it. Boom, we got one, let's go. Another beautiful creek chub on the fly. This is a bigger one than the first one, but definitely not a big one in general. I can catch ones a lot bigger, but we are micro fishing today, so we're just going for whatever bites. So this is an awesome catch right there. Just wanna catch them on the fly in these backwoods. That's our goal for the day. All right, see you later, bud. All right, time to be a little risky here. We're gonna walk out to try to get past all this stuff. Hopefully I don't slip. Get onto this tree. Just gotta have good balance. Now we can come more up close and personal to these fish. So these creeks are just way too flooded. So I'm gonna head over to a pond and try to finish off the night with some bluegill. And also the bugs are getting really bad here as the sun's going down. Just gonna be fly fishing right in front of this drain pipe. There's literally like an unhealthy amount of bluegill in this pond. It's actually insane. Shouldn't take long until we just get absolutely crushed. Very interesting, I didn't get one here. That's that's very shocking. Anyways, let's keep moving down. Oh, there's one. Boom, we found them. I knew they're in here. There were so many bluegill in this pond. Nice little guy in the fly right there. There's definitely some bigger ones that we can catch, but it's good to finally start catching some fish and actually have some more open area to cast better because in those woods, I really couldn't even make a cast. All right, see you later, buddy. All right, we came back a few days later. The creek is a lot less rapid, so there's probably gonna be more fish, theoretically, hopefully. All right, this back pocket, this is the one right here. Literally, don't even have to cast. Drop it in right by those rocks. Oh, there's one, there he is. We got him. Come up here, buddy. Oh my goodness gracious, that's a big old sunfish of some sort. Let's see what he is. Honestly, I think that's a green sunfish. If, if I'm wrong, please, correct me down below goodness gracious that is the biggest fish that i've caught on the fly in this video so far i've caught uh, like a few little bass on the fly but beautiful little sunfish species right there it's so much fun just coming out to a creek using the fly catching these little guys all right we're gonna send them back down there see you later bud all right let's keep going let's get some more day one of asking you to get a pet northern pike bro what <laughs> So the last spot of the day, I mean, kind of struggling though, I'm not gonna lie. Look at that backhand cast, beautiful. Which is weird because, um, you know, I'll, I'll catch these fish on mac and cheese, ghost peppers, and just about anything else you can think of. But a fly? No, they don't like that. Oh, one's got it, there he is. Boom, finally, one of these stupid fish bit it. Nice little creek chub on the fly. That's what you love to see right there, beautiful little fish. I mean, sometimes micro fishing can just be super relaxing, you know? Switch up pace a little bit, go for something a little bit smaller, just chill out at a little creek. It's tons of fun. All right, see you later, bud. Oh yeah, there's one. Oh my gosh, I forgot that I'm not using a normal reel and I just let all my drag out. There we go. It's working a lot better if I just let it drift like a natural bug just down there, not even stripping it at all. Just cast it upstream, let it flow downstream, and that's when these fish do. Look at how fat that guy is. What is he eating down there? Holy moly. That's insane. Another little tiny little creek chub. That dude is just, I've never seen one that like filled out, dude. That's insane. Off he goes. Oh, this is another little tiny. Dude, you're gonna have to calm down, buddy. Another sunfish species. I don't know exactly what it is. It looks kind of like a, like a, I don't know, a green sunfish maybe. That's usually what I catch out of here anyways. Off he goes. Oh, 
Well, this is what we're gonna call it a day on the fly fishing mission. Uh, I mean, this was just a little bit of a relaxing video, slow things down, slower pace, not a challenge, not fishing for big old bass or pike or anything. Just coming out to some local creeks, doing a little bit of fly fishing, super fun. I know you guys have been requesting for me to do this fly fishing for trout. Uh, I will do that eventually, probably in the fall once it starts to cool down a little bit when these trout become a little bit more active. But I do plan on using this for smallmouth sometime soon, so y'all stay tuned for that video. And if you did enjoy this one, be sure to leave that thumbs up. And as always, folks, fish with passion. Uh oh, can somebody come and save me? I just wanna know, I wanna know.